Okay, so I've had a couple of questions on my ESC setup for this Kid Tracks uh, VW Bug. It has the relay up front, uh, questions about the brake setup and the variable pedal. Um, so I'll just do a quick run through of how I connected my ESC. Uh, so I just put it in the back here with some Velcro so I can kind of move it around if I need to while I'm still finishing everything up. So we have positive and negative um, coming in from the batteries. That's simple. Um, and then you have positive and negative leaving the ESC and going to the motors. Um, typically, if you're not doing any kind of brake setup or anything like that, you can connect the positive and negative coming from your shifter. And that's usually going to be connected. Um, it'll have a, a stock connector on it going to your battery. So I just clip that off and you would connect that to the wires that are going uh, coming out of the ESC so the, this is power going to the motors um, and then you have your three wires coming out uh, for your Hall effect pedal your positive negative and your signal on the ESC that is black red and blue on my pedal it was black red and green um, so just red to red, black to black, and then whatever color you have coming off of the model pedal you have connects to the blue on the ESC. Um, this one has a charging port. Um, I think most of them do. I'm probably going to connect my 24 volt scooter charger to that one um, and then mount it, um, mount the connector in here. I still have the stock connector in there that I have to remove and see if I can fit the, uh, the scooter connector in. Um, now, going forward from there, I had three wires in that channel originally when this was stock. So one was red, one was purple, and one was black. Um, if you're not going to do the brake setup on it, um, I found out that if you clip off the purple from the relay, so I've disconnected the yellow uh, and the purple coming off of here because you don't need them. Um, and if you take the, the purple wire and you connect it to the red wire, you will have power to the motors. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do if you're just installing that variable pedal and you're doing the coast function where you have no brake. Um, once you do that and these wires are connected, um, how I mentioned earlier, um, you're good to go. There's really not much else that you need to do in order for the ESC to give you variable throttle um, and power the motors. Um, you'll also have fully functioning uh, control with your shifter, so you'll still have high, low, and reverse. Um, I took it a step further. I wanted to add a brake. Um, I don't know if it was really necessary for the kids. They've kind of gotten used to the coast function already, but jacking this thing up to 24 volts, I figured, why not? Um, it wasn't that complicated, um, in terms of the brake. So you're going to have three prongs on the back of your stock, um, stock pedal for that momentary switch that's attached to that. The, um, the first pin on there is the positive from the ESC. So what would typically just be connected to your motors, I have it connected, um, leaving the ESC and it connects to the first pin on your stock pedal. The second pedal, or sorry, the second pin on your stock pedal is going to be positive leaving the pedal. Um, I found out that that's actually the purple wire. Um, so I connected that purple wire um, to the second pin on the stock pedal. And the third and the furthest away pin on the back of that um, is going to be your negative. Um, so I actually have the black wire coming off of here and there's a channel back here and I have it connected to a resistor because I wanted slow break. I didn't want it to just lock up the wheels. Um, so it's connected to a resistor back there and then that black wire runs up the channel and it splices into the negative um, coming off the ESC. So that was pretty much it in terms of break on there. Um, to, to get power to your accessories, there was a black wire coming off of the relay, and then there was a red wire that bypassed it completely. I snipped the two of those and ran that through the channel um, and back up here. And so that is going to be connected to, to my step down. So I'll be connecting 24 volts on one side and then... Um, 
the red and black that I just showed you right there to um, to the other side. That should give me the ability to keep the radio, the horn, engine sounds, and the front headlights all functioning. Uh, I figured it was just an easier way to go than to try to squeeze in another 12 volt battery into the space and have to deal with charging and getting access to it and having two different chargers or or whatever so we'll give this a try and hopefully it doesn't draw too much power um, from the batteries and cause it to go a little bit slower than it normally would so you guys have any questions let me know I do have a couple of wiring diagrams for the brake um, one is with a relay setup I probably will do that on the next build I've heard that when these ESC's short out that they tend to do so at wide open throttle so you could have a runaway vehicle on your hands um, that really helps in terms of um, sending power back and, and essentially shorting the motors um, so that you can get to a stop um, the next build i actually have a remote disconnect that i'm going to be putting in there along with a few other things but that gives you the ability to kind of just hit a button on your little remote and and stop power going going to the motors uh, for the most part fairly simple setup uh, took me a bit just because i had to play around with some of the wires to figure out what they were uh, they tend to use a lot of different colors that don't go that aren't easily identifiable as uh, positive and negative. I really didn't have to play with anything on the back of the shifter. Um, I only lifted it out a couple of times just to route the wires underneath it. So I know that's probably the most intimidating part with all the wires running to the back of it, but I didn't have to do any modifications to the shifter. Um, and like I said, I still have high, low, and reverse. Um, have... Uh, the ability to use all the accessories up front have my variable pedal as well as soft brake so thanks again for watching and uh, if you have any questions just uh, send me a private message